Hello YouTube, here we are back in Guts and Glory as I play through the levels. I think I'm now on level 3 and it's been a few days since I've picked this up so bear with me while I get used to the controls again. And off we go. Simple so far, throwing the kid around in the back seat. Look at him flopping around like a rag doll. Now let's see what are the buttons. I want to control it now. I was playing on the keyboard and mouse last time, which was a bit awkward. But this seems a little bit a bit more friendly. Okay, let's smash some barrels. This seems like a pretty standard slalom type level at the minute. Nice and easy. While I reacquaint myself with the controls. Yeah, I was bound to fall off seconds after saying nice and easy. Resume. Respawn. Okay. Slip casually between those two trees, down into this little pen. Oh, excellent. Is that it? Shall I go for John and Jimmy again? It seems more fun using them. It seems a little bit more difficult. Four wheels on a quad. It seems like it might be easier. I don't know. I'm going to go with John and Jimmy. Who's this mysterious chap? Lucky other window, you don't mind. There you go. Okay, so let's head down this gorgeous valley. Hold your horses, have I got to get inside there? Okay, let's backtrack a little. Find an entrance to this jeet. Go. Smash through the window. Did I die? No. Aha, uh -huh, don't mind me. There's a Spartan residence there, not much in there. Now, oh. there we go. Let's head down towards that little orange flag. Let's, let's hit the road. Okay, I can only assume. I was meant to go into that big, whoa, sensitive controls. Let's smash through here, shall I? Look around the house for a minute. It's about as well equipped as a house you'd see in a, an RPG game. The table, people stood around doing nothing. A nice big vase, a chair, a plate. Let's just nip through here. And on down the hill. Hmm. Same story again. Why am I veering to the right? Get it. Smash. Now what? Just, just stand around watching your big cathode ray tube telly. When you're knocked down by a slowly moving bicycle, you stay down. <laughs> Oops, someone's shooting at me. Going for a sharp exit, I think. Ah, oh, down here. There's still bullets whizzing past me, but none of them can take me out. Or my little son on the back of the bike. Are they bullets? Looks like a crossbow. Never mind, we're at the end of the level. I win. And I am awesome. Hmm. Okay, here we go again. Okay, here we are, next level. Shoot at me, um, some sort of. Oh, hello, cannibal. Right, here we are again. Next level. Let's just whiz along here. So we just flew right past me and it looked a bit like a cannibal. There you go again. Let's stop and get smashed off my bike. <laughs> I think this one might take speed. 
I wonder if those cannonballs are completely random. Or are they actually aiming towards me? Let's go and find out, shall we? Nope, it looked like that was well and truly aiming for. Let's see. Yeah, I got you can do better than that. Yes, you can. <laughs> you just killed my son. Ah! Okay, don't ride straight towards the cannon. Let's try that again. Make sure I get the checkpoint this time. I'm not sure if I hit it last time. I'm going to stop at the checkpoint and reassess it. No, I'm not. I'm going to turn into a heap of guts on the floor. Pumping out blood. Righty, here we are again. I'm going to do it this time. And by do it, I mean get killed. Yay! That's it, I'm just going to move here now. Ah, I get it. I went to zigzag across the front of this cannon that's shooting at me. And take cover next to these containers in between each run. Go on, shoot. Go! It's completely unavoidable. Those fences offer very little protection. Come on, man, you can do it this time. I wonder if there's a different route I can take. I doubt it. I should have got the guy on the quad bike, shouldn't I? It would have been a bit tougher, maybe a bit faster. It's this one that got me last time. Time it, or do I just go for it? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, land it, land it. Come on, right? Attempt number, it's got to be number 10, maybe a million. It's easy. Why does he always get me on the last one? What can I do? How can I adjust my strategy? Right. He gets me every time if I just go straight across there. It's gotta be a different way. I'm, I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over again. Not so I can't think of a different way of doing it. I can't even zigzag because he's to the side of me. No, oh, I can't the sun, but <laughs> I got across there, dodged him, crashed into the container. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He misses me by a mile when I'm up there. I should just come back up to the top and weave across a bit. Wonder if I can do that. No, because I have to smash through the gate. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> okay. Ah. I've been bisected. Let's try that again. Alrighty. Miss me by a mile. I wonder if I can. Ah, I just thought of something. I'm gonna lie down this time. God <laughs> damn it. Yeah, as I was saying. I'm going to try something else this time. I'm going to lean over when I think the bullets are going to come. <laughs> right. I can, <clears throat> I can do this one without any, any messing around. It's this next one that gets me. <laughs> Lie down, lie down. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm about ready to quit this. This is too hard. Well, it's not. But I'm not going to make for a very fun video of me doing it. 
billion times. Isn't it? Sensitive. I don't know, I'm gonna change guy. I'm gonna go the guy on court. And we're back as Earl. Let's see if we can do it as Earl. He's gonna get his head smashed off instantly. What does he do instead of leaning over? Did he do nothing? Is Earl like the beginner's option? Is he? He just seems easier. I'm just going to do this level as Earl because I'm not having much luck on the bike. And then I'm going to go back on the bike because I like the challenge. I don't want it to be too easy. Oh, there goes your leg, Earl. After I say it's too easy. Oh, he's fine though, his arms flapping in the breeze, his legs hanging down. Not a problem. Oh, diggity, you did it.